Hello everyone, this is Al the Spirit. Welcome to my channel. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Okay, so I want to do a sound off to the two that have subscribed to me and the one that joined my circle. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you deciding that I am worthy to be, uh, to uh, subscribe to. So thank you so much. Um, this channel has been up for a month and I really love it and I you know, and I'm going to do a heck of a lot more videos. Uh, not as not a ton of videos, but a good amount of videos. Okay. So tonight at sundown, we will be honoring Athena, the goddess of war, wisdom, domestic arts, the patron goddess of Athens, and of course, one of the two gods that were not born a normal way. Okay. So, um, Athena was born out of, she sprang forth out of the forehead or the head of Zeus. And the reason she ended up this way is due to what her father Zeus did. Her father Zeus fell in love with a titan called Metis. Her name means practical wisdom or prudence. And no sooner did she become pregnant with his child that a prophecy was given that her son would basically kick him off the throne. Well, Zeus got really worried and decided that he was going to ingest Metis to keep this from happening. Well, I want to make this, I want to say something to this. I don't really believe that he ingested Metis when she was in a human-like form. There is one where he ingested her as a fly. And I'm going to go with that because the reason why I go with that particular version instead of it being a whole person um, is because of what his father did. And I find it very hard to believe that he would repeat it. Especially the fact is that he also punished, he also punished humanity for cannibalism. So I'm going with the fly part, fly version. Um, the reason why I say this is that there was a documentary called Clash of the Gods Zeus. And it showed him ingesting Metis as a human-like figure, and I'm kind of like, uh, no, I don't, I don't prescribe to that or subscribe to that. So Athena comes, <clears throat> springs fully formed from her father's head, after the pounding from Metis making armor caused him to have a massive migraine. So. She comes forth, she is immediately loyal to Zeus, and uh, she goes and she becomes the goddess of wis wisdom and war and domestic arts. Now, there is a god of war called Ares. Ares is interested in bloodshed, he loves, he loves the spilling of blood, and he's not exactly popular with Zeus and Hera. Uh, Athena, being the goddess of war herself, she's more into the using her brains or instead of having a sword and thrusting it into people's guts. Athena was or is a very popular goddess because she represents the thinking and the strategy part of war, not the ramming a sword into someone's guts. She also represents the diplomatic part of the whole process of war. When war is won, diplomacy is always engaged. Okay, so um, Athena is is famous for helping Odysseus defeat the Trojans using the Trojan horse, but she also has a very vindictive side. And this is the thing that I've got to say to people that practice Wicca. Do not ignore her vindictive side. There's a reason she has a vindictive side, because she's a goddess. And gods do not play happy dance with people. They're vindictive. They punish people that become too proud or violate their sanctuaries. Yeah. Okay, so the one that violated her sanctuary is Medusa. Medusa was a mortal woman, very beautiful very lusted after, 
Uh, some say that she was a priestess of Athena, and she was a virgin, and she, her purity was sought after by Poseidon, who had sex with her, and Athena punished her. Now, there's two variations of this story of Athena's punishment of Medusa for having sex in her sanctuary. One, that she allowed Poseidon to have sex with her, which I find it very hard to believe. And second of all, that he raped her. And when he raped her, she be, or I don't care if he raped her or he had sex with her, she got pregnant with Pegasus and Chrysidor, I hope I pronounced it right, Chrysidor was, um, well, Chrysidor was generally depicted as a young man, um, and uh, he became the king of Iberia. Um, Chrysidor, married to the daughter of glorious Oceanus, was father to the triple-headed Grayson. The Grayson was killed by the great strength of Hercules at the sea circle Eurythius. Yeah. So, um, so basically, while one son was destined to be famous as the winged horse, uh, the other one was destined to basically sire a monster. So it, it kind of it kind of is a double-edged sword for poor Medusa. Medusa's uh, grandson ended up um, being killed by Hercules. Another mortal that got Athena's wrath is a weaver. Now, I'm not going to try to pronounce her name uh, because it would just take too long, but um, Athena basically punished her for being too proud. She boasted that she was a better weaver than Athena. Athena challenged her and did not like the scenes that uh, she was making. So she cursed her to become an arachnid or a spider, but it was a soft kind of curse because she allowed this girl to weave and her children to weave. So those were the two mortals that got Athena's wrath. Now, we honor Athena. Uh, as I said, she's a goddess of war, wisdom, domestic arts, but she also oversees the city-state of Athens. Now, what's interesting about Athens, before the dis, uh, inhabitants of Athens could come up with a name, Athena and Poseidon showed up. They wanted the city-state named after one of them, so there was a competition with the people deciding. So Poseidon went first. Poseidon struck the ground with his trident, and out came a spring of salt water. And I believe a horse was involved in it. Athena hit the ground with her spear, and an olive tree came forth. And of course, because they could use the olive for food and for oil, Athena won. Now, it's interesting about Athena and Poseidon. Poseidon created the horse, Athena created the chariot. So when the Greeks and anyone else used the chariot and the horse, they were actually using the creations of Poseidon and Athena. Now, Athena is also over democracy, the written word, learning, scrolls. This is why knowledge was so important to the Greeks. They believed that knowledge helped their minds. So, that's why Today, people really emphasize a lot on education, not because they believe it's connected to Athena, but because your brain gets smarter if you learn new things. So tonight, we're going to honor her. I'm going to honor her. And um, I hope you guys will have a wonderful, wonderful celebration. And um, I definitely will see you tomorrow when I talk about Hermes. Hercules, Aphrodite, and Eros, and I don't know how long the uh, video is going to be. Okay, 
So um, I will see you guys around, and until next time, may be happy, healthy, and whole.